Today, we're talking about a digital maturity roadmap approach. And joining me is my colleague Bente. Bente, welcome. Hello, thank you. So a digital maturity roadmap approach, what is that exactly? So what we see uh, in the market is that companies want to become more and more digitally mature mm -hmm. and want to become digital natives. Right. So what we do with the roadmap approach is uh, we look at what the need is from the business and define digital initiatives and prioritize them by using a, uh, a roadmap. And um, a trend from the market is that, uh, for example, the uh, consumer products and retail industry is already uh, quite matured. Uh, but the energy, utilities and manufacturing sector still has some, uh, some steps to be, uh, to be done in order to become, to become a, uh, a digital uh, native. And how does that work exactly and what kind of outcomes do you pursue? Yeah, so um, what we start with is uh, a vision and also uh, aligning the vision with the goals. Uh, what we do is really communicate to the business units, which could be countries, okay, what is uh, what we want to achieve, what is the aim, um, what are our uh, business objectives, and can we reach that with uh, certain, uh, certain goals. And then we uh, move further into, okay, how can we reach the goals? And uh, this is what we do with field research, which helps with uh, defining the customer journey. With the customer journey, we then uh, look at, okay, what are the pain points? Uh, we go to the markets, we uh, talk to customers, we talk to employees and see, okay, uh, what are the pain points at these touch points, but also what are the wow moments that is actually going already really well or that could be elaborated. And we actually take this uh, customer journey and uh, see, okay, on these touch points, we could use um, these initiatives, which could then be again field research or a sales accelerator or um, a 360 customer view. And we take this and uh, use a value framework to see, okay, what is the actual impact of implementing such an initiative? But it could also be that um, one initiative has a very high impact, but also uh, a lot of effort. So then the question is, okay, do we uh, want to start with it already or do we, uh, do we wait a bit and deprioritize it maybe for 2020? And uh, which one do we want to prioritize for, uh, for 2019? So can you give me an example of one of the initiatives you've performed? Yes, of course. So um, I already mentioned the examples such as field research or uh, marketing automation, CRM. But uh, a very tangible example is, for example, at a touch point of uh, customer service, where we've already seen that um, it's evolving quite a lot already with uh, the use of chatbots. Um, but still, we see that uh, a lot of uh, customers still want, uh, want to have the human touch. So still pick up the phone and really call, uh, call a company for help. And then, it, of course, it would be great that from, um, from within one minute, this customer can be helped instead of being referred to another department. And um, the note has been taken and we'll call you back when, uh, when we see that we can resolve it. So here um, we use the initiative, for example, 360 customer view, that you have one overview uh, of your uh, client details, customer details, um, your address. So once a customer calls, um, a sales uh, rep or a customer service employee can uh, immediately help a, a customer as, as well. So um, change your address or change your order. So now I understand what a digital maturity roadmap approach is, uh, what it entails, what kind of outcomes you try to pursue. You've even given me an example. But I'm quite curious, what differentiates Capgemini? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what uh, differentiate, differentiates Capgemini is that um, we, of course, can leverage all the capabilities from the Capgemini group, mm -hmm. where you see that the Invent is more the consulting branch, and we also have other capabilities which can help us with the, with the technological background from a, uh, for, for an initiative. So what uh, we do is we closely collaborate also early on in the process already to see, okay, how can we make an initiative actionable? All right. So it is strategy and vision, but also technology and implementation. And my last question then is, what's next? Yeah, so we have talked now about the why and the what, but the next step is the how. So we have a great initiative, mm -hmm. but how do we implement it in the, in the business units or in the countries or in markets? And uh, we do this with uh, three steps. So do we have the right skills? Do we have the right knowledge, but also the right infrastructure? And if we have this, then ultimately um, a client can increase their uh, digital maturity.
All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.